everyone, it's Becca. I'm back today with another video. As you can see, I finally have makeup on. I had some time this morning, which was amazing. Um, so that's super exciting. I'm also loving my outfit today. I'm really enjoying fall. I just have like a little dress on. Um, and I'm loving this lip color. This is Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Havana Nights, the collaboration um, done with Kathleen Lights. Okay, so let me get into my haul. I have just a bunch of stuff here. Normally I like to do them like monthly, but this has just kind of been like couple months now I, I just had, didn't have time to film it so it's kind of been accumulating but um, this so it's kind of all out of order so I'm sorry about that but I'm just gonna pull out what I have it's just all in this kind of a um, bin right here so I first have this um, bag from Sephora it was on sale and I think I needed a couple extra points to get free shipping so I decided to do that so it's the breakup to makeup bag and this one says I'm only helpless when my nails are drying I think it's so cute it's like a lot bigger than I thought it would be but it's not very like wide so I don't exactly know how I'm gonna use this yet um, let me know if you have any suggestions with that could be good for like maybe office supplies or something I'm not really sure in here is this um, really sweet my brother's girlfriend um, sent me something and so she also threw in these perfumes that she had that she didn't like um, so it's the Tokyo Milk perfume sugar balm mix and match parfum three unique fragrances so this is what it looks like um, it's really cute actually and then you pull it out and it has one two three four five six different scents so I'll have to play around with that I'm excited and they're all just numbered like 113, 114. Oh, I guess. Huh, this is interesting. Okay, yeah, maybe there are only are three cents, but they have like two of each. That's what, okay, that makes more sense. So, yeah, very cool. Like that, because I have been like wanting a new scent lately, so maybe this will help me. Sorry, I'm throwing everything here, but I don't know how much time I have to film here. And then some samples I got. <clears throat> this is a Sephora. Um... Fond de teint perfection 10 hour oh here's the English 10 hour wear perfection perfection foundation so there's that and what else did I get Versace for guys because they didn't have many cool samples and why not and then the purity made simple three in one cleanser for face and eyes right there and also oh I have my little four thing I'm all over the place today guys sorry I'm just like I don't know when my roommate's gonna come home and how much time I have to film so um, but anyway the sample for that was oh I also should have got the Juicy Couture Juicy Rose we'll see if that's in this bag but um, the promo code that I used um, there's this VIB and v by Ru VIB Rouge appreciation sample bag so in here I love when they do these in here was the belief the true cream aqua bomb then the Origins Vita Zing SPF 15. I've wanted to try this for so, 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 so long. So I'm excited about that. Um, the Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. Exfoliator. <laughs> um, there's that. The Benefit They're Real, which I'm just going to probably pass along to my brother's girlfriend because um, I'm not a big fan of that mascara. It's okay for layering, which is what, how I'm using the one I had opened myself, but she, that's her holy grail, new discovered holy grail um, mascara, so I'll pass that along to her because she'll enjoy a lot more than I will. I have so many mascara samples, I can't like go through them fast enough. Um, here's a little sample of the beauty, of the beauty blender, um, the solid cleanser, the, you know, blender cleanser solid, I guess is the exact name. I actually have a small size of this. I think and then I actually wait, I ended up buying the full size so either I'll keep this to use after or honestly like it's gonna take me a while to go through that so I might just pass this along to someone else um, then in here comes the Atelier Cologne um, Maison de Parfum Paris perfume in man um, in Mandarin Glacial so there's that um, it's come packaged like really intensely and then in here what is this the Estee edit by Estee Lauder some like samples of their mattified lipstick and their lip flip shade transformer just like these paper ones but it'll still be just cool to try it because I know that's been a newer 
addition to Sephora and people are liking it. And the last thing is this Fresh Skincare Essentials thing. So it comes with the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, um, Rose Face Masks, and the Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream. So it's kind of like an all-in-one right there, which is kind of cool. Get everything you might need. And then, you know, the cute little bag. So there is that. So the things I purchased um, for that order was this Shiseido Facial Cotton. You guys have probably all seen it. Um, I'm too lazy to go get it right now. But they're just, you know, like a um, cotton kind of pad thingy to remove your makeup with or to cleanse with or whatever you may do. Um, whatever, you know, it is that you want to do. I normally use them um, to apply my toner. And I've heard everyone talk about them, but they're $9, I believe, for, like, the packet of, like, 150 or something like that. Don't quote me on those. Um, and everyone talks about it, how amazing it is. It's so luxurious, lovely. I'm like, and I never bought them because I was like, that's kind of a waste. Um, but then my roommate had them, and she was like, Becca, you need these. These are amazing. And I tried one of hers, and I was hooked. They really do feel like it feels exactly how the pads um, when you get a facial done feel. Just very luxurious and it sounds so fucking stupid. Um, excuse my language. It sounds so stupid um, that it's, you know, it's just like a facial cotton, whatever, you know. But those are really, really nice. And the other thing I got, which I do want to do a separate video on and it's just been sitting here waiting for me to do. Um, so, like I said, this is why I mainly got it. Um, I love this four favorite sets. I'm absolutely in love with them. Um, there are a couple I've been thinking about, but I really, the ones that are exclusive JCPenney, those are the couple I've been thinking about. But anyway, the, this one I just had to get and I thought it might um, sell out, so that's why I wanted to get it soon. But normally I wait for like the VIB sale to like get some of these things. But anyway, so this is four favorites, Extravagant Eyes. Love the packaging. And I'll tell you um, what comes in here. It's the Huda Beauty Lashes Samantha Lashes number 7. That's a big reason why I want to get these because they're super expensive and I never purchase them normally on my own. But I've seen YouTubers wear them spe specifically, I believe, Emily Noel, and they just look amazing. Also, just like some other good things that came in here, um, like the Urban Decay uh, Glitter Liner. I've always wanted one of those. Everyone says the Laura Mercier sticks are really good. Obviously, I mean, hey, Nara's Shadow, not bad. I really want to try the Smashbox um, eye primer. And there's just some other, like, other good things. And it was $42. So that's not, I mean, obviously it's not cheap, but it's it wasn't too bad for what you get because those lashes, I think, are already, like, in the $20 range. Um, so, yeah, that was that purchase. And that's, I did need that $8 for that shipping. So I remember the facial cotton was... Um, nine, but then I also bought the bag, so then it ended up being over 50, but whatever. Okay, the next place I got something from was ColourPop. I've been waiting to do a purchase there for a while. Um, I don't know why I ended up purchasing at this moment. There must have been some deal or something. Let's see. Oh, it's because, yes, um, a quad of eyeshadows was on sale for some price. And I've wanted to get the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Where the Night Is shades for a while. I don't, and these are my first ColourPop shadows that I own. So these are just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I'm not going to swatch them just for the sake of time. But I do want to do a look with these. I want to do her look that she did, which is really what made me want to buy these. Because this is such a weird shade for me. But it is so unique and, um, which I like. I love, like having these different unique shades but my problem is just how do I use them I'm so stuck in just my normal like okay you know apply like a neutral shadow and then a neutral crease and like I have trouble kind of branching out but I loved the look she did with this and it inspired me so that's why I wanted to get those um also they came with this like cute little thank you whatever ColourPop is cute like they have this cute little note in here hey love you're amazing and there's no buts about it like they're just really cute I, I really definitely like their touches um I there's a lot more I want to try from ColourPop but like I'm trying to you know I want to try their like liners their cream and gel liners but I've been trying to restrain um but the other thing I did want to get because I've been wanting this for a while another Kathleen Lights thing is Lumiere 2 um the liquid matte I really want to try their liquid their um ultra satins I mean but um, I have not tried those yet. So that's what that looks like. Um, 
really pretty. I, I believe I swatched this on my lips and I liked it. So that was nice, but I don't know how I feel about the mattes because a lot of mine went bad on me, um, which is super annoying because I know they're cheap, but like, not cheap, but inexpensive, I mean, but you still want them to last. Um, so I don't know if that's just because I, I talked about it before in some of my other videos, but it's because I went abroad and they were in the, not necessarily like heat, but they were in sunlight for part of the time. So a lot of my liquid lipstick lipsticks did that but mostly those so anyway whatever blah 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 oh and actually I forgot I did get one of the cream gel colors I was just feeling very Kathleen Lights inspired um she does have like a very similar skin tone to me and that kind of stuff so um you know what works for her tends to work for me so this is the Mr. Bing eyeliner that another collaboration she did um dang I really put this on tight but it's just a really cool like lighter brown and this, you know, is a way for me to try their stuff, and then I don't actually have um, a light kind of brown like this. I have more darker browns, so that's cool. I love playing with liner, but it's hard with my, like, hooded lids sometimes. So I'm trying to, like, figure out how to play around with those. But anyway, that was my ColourPop purchase. Not too big, just a couple things. Okay, placed a Jeffree Star um, order. I love the little, like, showed you guys right there, the little... Um, tape that they use because it's the Jeffree Star inspired one. I've been wanting to get a lot of stuff from him like, like for a while now actually but everything's always freaking oh, sold out the stuff I want um, so he brought back Unicorn Blood which is the first liquid lipstick I wanted of his and I want some of the kind of crazier colors but they're not back in stock yet. Other ones have been he's been restocking but not those ones and then there's um, the root beer lip scrub I want, but he hasn't restocked that in, in, to my knowledge. And then I also want the ice, the lavender ice um, highlighter, but that one hasn't been restocked yet. So super, super annoying because I'm what, ready to buy, you know? But anyway, here's this. It's a really pretty shade. It looks really amazing on a lot of people I've seen it wear. It's kind of similar to what I'm wearing. Um, when I put it on, honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of the color. Um, also, I know people are going to like, I wanted to review on this, so I can leave that for then. But, I don't know, I just, I wasn't as, I'll say, I just wasn't as impressed as I thought I'd be. But, I still want to get more shades, because maybe it was just this one. Um, and does anyone know what the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are supposed to smell like? Because, no, I couldn't determine the scent. Um, so I do plan on doing a review on that. Um, reluctantly though, because I'm sure, like, there'll be some hate. Even though I don't have that many subscribers, I'm just still, I'm just, it's bound to happen. Um, so. Anyway. So I did get that. Um, and then these were their, like, summer shades that they're having. Um, so. They sent that out. I did purchase this a while. It was in September, I believe. Um, but I loved the little packaging in here. It was, like, went along right with their summer shades. Um, very, very cute touches. I, I loved the packaging and presentation of that. Okay, the uh, next place I bought stuff was from Ulta. During their 21 Days of Beauty, I did buy stuff. I really wish I had an Ulta here because that would make it so much easier for me because then you don't have to pay for shipping. Because honestly, the great deals kind of don't end up being such good deals when you have to pay for shipping. And, it's, and other things I wanted to purchase um, that I would have, you know, gladly purchased to then make it um, the $50 they had were out of stock, specifically the Shape Tape Concealer, and then the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette wasn't restocked yet. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But I got the Urban Decay After Go Blush, 8-Hour Powder Blush in Bittersweet. I've really wanted this for a long time. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous packaging here, and a gorgeous, unique purple shade. You know me with my purples. So, I love that, um... I love the packaging, love this, like, outer packaging, like, I love Urban Decay. Honestly, you, I think I've mentioned this before, but one of my all-time favorite brands. Love what they're doing. Uh, keep it up, Urban Decay. And then I just got, like, I don't know, I got all these random little samples. I definitely enjoy Sephora samples versus Ulta, that's just my experience. Ulta does have the gift with purchases, and those are amazing. Um, and they also have like their great reward system, but in terms of just pure samples, I really do like Sephora's better. Um, I don't know where these came from, but I'm just going to show you guys my samples. I got the Dolce & Gabbana, um, Rose, Rosa Excelsa, oh, I'm butchering that, the Olympia Paco Rabanne, 
There's that one. I got another one of that. Got this Clinique Universal Glow thing. Um, some of these might have been from Sephora, I really don't remember. And then my next Ulta purchase, again during the 21 Days of Beauty, I've really wanted to try their Lorac Color Source blushes. Um, and they were half off. I believe the Urban Decay one was the same. So I got the Color Source Buildable Blush in um, Ultraviolet because I've been wanting this one for a while. My mom has Aura, which is beautiful. I do want to try that one, um, which I believe that's in a holiday set that they have a little duo. So there's that. Um, really, really, really gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely considering buying some of those blushes. Um, but honestly, it's funny. I just don't think I've been in matte, into matte blushes or just, I don't know, blushes in general. I've just been kind of underwhelming me lately. Um, I think I've just been so much into the highlight. But anyway, the, so the, the Laura highlights were also on sale. Um, so I got Starlight. Someone said like the moonlight or something is really, really pretty. Um, but I didn't know which one to get at that moment. So I got this one. It is really gorgeous. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one. That one's okay. I know a lot of people love these. But I'm just obsessed right now. Obsessed with my Anastasia ones. And then when I'm not using those, I'm wearing like my Becca one today. Those are just like my two favorites. I'm really liking the strong highlight. Um, so we'll have to see. But I, I am considering getting the Lorac like blush and highlight sets. So I will be, I'm excited about that if I do end up getting those and tr playing around with them. Okay, so this order I did want to make it to 50 so it would be worth it. So I picked up some just random stuff that I've been wanting for a long time but like never thought to pick up. So I got the NYX, um, like it's the blush technically in taupe, um, but in its cute little bow right there, super cute packaging. Um, but obviously this is a contour and there used to be like their other like not in this pan but the circular pan they used to have a color taupe and that one actually got discontinued which really sucks because that one looked like it would be um kind of nice it had kind of more of a red tone to it but in a nice way where it kind of anyway more warm tone than this but anyway i am excited to have this um hopefully it'll be good for my fair skin i believe i wore it once and um it was nice so excited to have that finally after so many years and then also, I got the NYX Eyebrow Shaper, so it's just a wax pencil. Um, there's what it looks like, nothing special. But um, I always use gels, and I'm just never like completely satisfied. And Thrift Thick here, Cassie, she uses, she used to use the Anastasia one, and then she now uses this one, because um, she loves waxes personally, and she said, really, there's not too, too much of a difference, especially for the price point, this is a great um, eyebrow wax. So I did use this and actually really, really liked it. So I actually might honestly be switching to more waxes um, instead of the gels, which is a fun fact. Uh, anyway, I'm just like rambling today, probably because I haven't like really filmed an intense video, or not intense, but a long video in a while, even though I just filmed one yesterday. Again, more rambling. Okay, moving on. I also got the Real Techniques Gold Metal Collection Blush, the 203 Tapered Shadow Brush, because again, thrift thick. She loves this. Um, and just look at the beautiful, beautiful packaging. These are more expensive than the other Real Te Techniques brushes, but I just love it. I have used it. As you can see, it is dirty. I need to wash it. Um, but yeah, it is a really, really nice brush. Um, so we'll see. For her, this is like holy grail status, so I need to use it more to decide. But just dang, look at that beautiful packaging. Or present, not packaging, but you know what I mean. Just look at the beauty that it is. I just love it. Um, so there is that and I believe that was all. So that's all I got in my Ulta purchase that time. Okay then I per I made a purchase with I believe beauty.com. This is so bad that I can't remember because this was my the um, order I did the longest ago. But I believe I believe it was beauty.com, maybe drugstore.com. Honestly I'm so bad. I don't remember. One of those. Um, that I hadn't purchased from there before, but they were having like a sale on certain high, I believe it was beauty.com. I'll like, if I'm wrong, I'll leave something like across the screen. But um, yeah, I really, um, they had some sales on some high-end brands. It was like 25% off or something like that um, on some high-end brands. And so there's some things I've been eyeing for a while that I wanted to get. So I got the um, Lorac, no, not the Lorac, excuse me, the Laura Geller, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Charming Pink. Um, I have a mini size of the Gilded Honey and I love that. And then I've swatched this before in store and really liked it. 
and it's really really gorgeous um but I don't know I'm never into pink as much as I like pink highlight as much as I think I will be but though still this is absolutely gorgeous love it keeping it um and the other thing I got it was just a small order was this Jouer Longwear Lip Cream Liquid Lipstick in Noisette because it was like a dupe for some um for some I think Dolce K maybe from uh, Kylie Cosmetics and so here's what it looks like it's like one of my it's my, my first full size Jouer product that I've purchased they're supposed to be able to click in right there pretty cool but it is very brown I'm not sure how it looks on me um, but I really did like this formula just the one time I wore it um, so there's that and the last thing I wanted to show you is just a couple things I got from Amazon um, just kind of I got a bunch of stuff not a bunch, but I, I ordered this, the Fitbit Ulta, because um, my other one was the, I had the Charge HR and it was getting wonky on me. But anyway, I got these bandolettes, which are really cool, and they're supposed to wear them like on your inner, you know, on your thighs, and it's supposed to help with ch chafing. You know, for everyone who doesn't have a thigh gap, thigh gap out there, these are, would be great in the summer. Um, and then I also got, because I wanted to get the free shipping, so I got these little, um, belly button rings so just simple ones but anyway that's my long haul hope you guys are all doing well until next time bye everyone